Okay, hello guys. I'm going to do some updates on um, Virgos. Okay, Virgos, hi. I'm going to do some updates on you guys. I really don't remember the last time I read you guys. I'm going to turn this TV down. I'm sorry, just a second. Okay, I had to find the remote. So, alright, I'm going to start on Virgos. Let's see what updates we got going on. Anything we're getting a touch of or whatever. Alright, let's see here. Virgos here. Let's see what we got. Oh, just seconds. Okay, we have door to romance here. Door to romance here. This is something you're probably just open to. Okay, I'm not saying it's going on. It could be going on, but this is something you're probably just open to if it comes your way here. It's like um, you're saying, "Now we'll do this." You know, it's something that um, you could be thinking about or wanting to do. I don't know. If someone threw you an inbox or something or. What the case may be, but <coughs> this is something you're open to. I just sucked up all the air, like, in my um, throat there. It's crazy. All right, this is the thinking man here. A lot of you are being very um, creative with your life here, with your finances and everything. And it seems like you're doing this on your own. You're doing this on your own here, okay? And it seems like you don't want anyone to get in your way. Get in your way, either. Okay, um... Yeah, you're mastering out some things on your own here with this woman holding coin here. A lot of you, yeah, you're doing this on your own here. You're saving up money. It's like you're doing this for some kind of reason. Just a second, okay? Okay, it's like you're doing this for some kind of reason here, saving up money. Like if you want to um, go take a vacation or go do something fun with your kids or do something for yourself here. Or something you're just planning on doing here. And this is the world card here. At the same time, you're actually, this is all in transit. This is all in transformation here. What's going on with the trip, saving up money. It's just something that you're doing, um, something that you're doing together, all together. This is like something you're just mastering out. It's a part of your plan on changing things in your life here. It's not just like you just came up with a trip, like you want to save up for something uh, or with your kids here. This is just a part of your transforma transforming um, healing from something and you're just doing different things exciting things here this is goddess of the moon here some of you were like this before you were kind of um in and out with certain things here and it's almost like you're coming to some kind of agreement on what you want to do with yourself here this is your seventh chakra here this is being like i said creative this is in your intuitives being very creative with things here okay yeah I don't know what happened in your life to where you had to take a step back and look at your life and say, I need to do something different. That's what it looks like what happened here. Okay, Virgos. Okay. This is um, dealing with um, blessings and abundance coming your way. This is not just blessing and abundance. This is blessing with abundance that awaits, that awaits you. So the more you keep transforming and doing the positive thing and with good intent, um, things are going to happen for you here. And you're making this happen here. And look at this. This blessings and abundance came me first. That means that it's happening here. It's happening. See, look at that. It's happening there, and you're making this happen here. I'm not saying God is not blessing you, but it could be some things that you were doing, like working overtime or something like that, taking care of your responsibilities here. So those are blessings as well, okay? And this is some of you, this is community. This is dealing part with social media. Some of you probably are not into it like the way you were before. You rather focus on what's going to happen, like who am I going to be with for the rest of my life or how my kids are going to be or you're, you're not focusing on these friends things and likes and all this. You still do it, but it's not that important here. Like I said, adjusting possibilities here. Yeah, you're doing your new change here. You're not worrying about this, you know, silly things in life here. I'm not saying it's silly to be online, but... I guess how the way you feel like if oh, just a second. If you're gonna change your life, you're gonna go the nine yard, your whole nine yards. You're gonna do the whole thing here. You're not gonna have step in your life here. You know how some people they say they want to change their life and then um, it's it, they're still doing something, some kind of habit, and they mixing, blending, and end up with the past. And you just want to do the whole thing, okay? And this is Angel of Strength here. Um, if you didn't see the card, Angel of Strength here. 
this is you no offense i'm sorry doing this um on your own here this angel of strength here and you're it's like it's like you almost want someone to know that you're doing this like you're saying i don't need you or look what i'm doing here you should do this it's like you're almost saying that here you know why don't you try it or i'm doing this it's like, i'm not saying you want to show up but you like you want these people to know that i'm doing this here like i don't have time it's like you want to see their response for it yeah i don't have time it's like you want to do that here. This is personal personal happiness here. This is you. Your happiness is really dealing with dealing with your situation and things coming together. And you're saying, now, how are you? Now I can come see you. Now I can come visit you. Now I can come see you here. You rather just have your things together for a go before you do anything here. Okay? And this is for your first chakra here. This is your base chakra here. This is all around your life here. It's almost consists of this, the world card. It's almost like that, but it's dealing with self, okay? What you want rounded, what you want balanced, what you want, you know, earthbound. And you are earth sign here. And that's what you want here. But you feel like you want to do it how the way you want to do it. So you kind of keep people out of your business or something like that. And you deal with it with yourself here. And this is rest and rejuvenate here. A lot of you are taking some downtime from family or people or people you were probably dealing with here to deal with your affairs. Okay? And this is anxiety here. This was going on probably weeks before or month. Probably weeks before or a month before. And it had a lot to do with dealing with family or some kind of up and down situation you were going through, either with an ex, a child's father, child's mother, or it could be family. It's someone close or someone you're not dealing with too much. And it was a lot of anxiety going on. You didn't know which way to go or how to act towards this person. Or um, you were trying to be a good Samaritan and it seemed like it wasn't coming out right. And you were taking out some time and doing things. You just wasn't feeling right with that. And some of you are out of the woodworks with that here. Okay, it just had you unbalanced there. And this is indecision here. These are decisions that you're making. Some of you put yourself in a position where you feel like you thought it was right for you, and then now it's feeling like you think it's you're like it's okay, I guess I'm okay. It's like you're trying to come back to some kind of clarification on what were you going through before and then what made you go to this transition here like was it right or not here this is your sixth like sixth chakra here this is dealing with you being intuitive with your clarification like i was just talking about that that's weird that's what this is about like um it's like you're thinking what you're doing where is it going to get you is this right i don't want to go back down making these decisions again and end up nowhere okay you don't want to do that here and you're feeling like is this right for me you're still doing it going with the flow but at the same time you're still ding, thinking i didn't mean to make the bell noise but you're still thinking like is this right for me here some of your i'm going to do this over your cards are coming out reversed here virgos here yeah this is storm warning here something you don't want to get involved with i don't know if you're dealing with someone who t does a lot of talking or say things and you're kind of staring away from that here like no oh, deal with that you don't want to deal with that because something happened before or you thought they were your friend or you thought they were close to you and it's coming off like what the heck is going on with this it's like you're almost saying that here and this is the sun card here because i'm the reason why i stopped i paused because i feel like you guys are getting these good ideas for yourself but at the same time something you're trying to avoid that you're going to attend to later. I'm getting that feel. It's like, have you ever had this best aunt or best uncle or best cousin or best friend or whatever, and you like them, but you're taking care of your situations here and you can't deal with them right now? And then when you're okay, you're like, hey, I'm, I'm here. Hey, I'm okay now. Hey, what's going on? It's like, you're going to go back to them later. You're probably just watching them from afar or agreeing with them, but you're not really communicating with them here. The reason why I came up to the sun card, because whatever you're trying to complete is going to be completed here. But it's like you're going to come back to this person you haven't talked to in a while, and they're almost saying, well, you didn't have to call me. It's like, I hope you got all that, because I'm just, that's how my vibe is right now. 
this is um yeah going into some cycles here don't put yourself into any mode i know i shouldn't tell you don't but don't get put yourself into emotional cycles here i feel like you're going to go through another cycle again with people something emotional again and it's like you're blaming yourself like i should have been there or i should have did this or i don't know what to do it's like you're putting yourself back into there again because you're thinking a lot Okay, you have door to spirit here. Like I said, a lot of people need to deal with spirituality. It's very important to deal with that here, okay? Because your guardian angels, they guide you. They guide you so you won't be so confused about what's going on. Because I feel like some of you are going to get confused about a particular person. It's someone you're close to and you took away from them. You got away from them for a while. And then it's, you're going to come back into it and like, oh, what's going on? Because you finished your stuff. That's what you want to get done first. And then you go back to them here this is your third chakra here this is yeah you, you're gonna push out that power um, point here on a person here you're gonna this sounds familiar it sounds like you got everything together everything's going to the straight and narrow and everything in your north and then someone you took away you took a downtime from you haven't spoke to them and all of a sudden you're going to go back in their life because you want them to know i'm okay i did my stuff i'm fine it's like you want to say that i'm fine are you okay but you want to limit that conversation with that person here this is garden and the gate here these are options about what you want to do it's like you set your your you got your life set to a point where you have options some people don't have that like far as what they want to buy what they you know what they want to purchase or where they want to go on a trip or something what they're going to do i don't know if you set money aside or you plan something uh, months prior you know before or whatever and um, you're not going to mess that up here so I don't know what you guys have done or had planned on, but you have options to do stuff. It's like you're almost saying, well, um, um, let's see. Uh, it's like you're saying, oh, let's see where I want to go. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? You're almost saying that here. Like you can do that, but it's like you're keeping it to yourself. Some of you are probably posting things, but like you keep it to yourself here. There's some envy here. I feel like someone's feeling funny about you probably because you're not talking to them or you're not trying to be close to them. And they're like just, they're like doing this almost like they don't have to talk to me. I'm fine. I think you can feel that a little bit here and you're like you meant what you said you know and there's nothing to talk about with this person here you know and this is woman holding heart i can't woman woman i keep saying woman 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 holding heart here this is like this is someone that's dear to you here it's like you're trying to keep um uh keep up with them you know keep in touch with them or something it could be a mother it could be um I feel like it's an older person um, or it could be an ailing like a sick um, relative or something they're older and it's like you're trying to but it says woman holding heart so someone you're trying to keep close to it could be uh, you know it's someone you're you're dear to here and you want to make sure they're okay it's I, I feel like it's more than one person here and this is door to value here this is your life this is what you're thinking about you want to be worth something here Okay, I'm not talking about you selling yourself, but you want to say, I did this, I have this put aside, and I'm okay. You just want to be okay, Virgo, and that's what you want to be here. Okay, that's what you want to be in your life here. I don't know if there's a, um, if you owe a debt, but I, I just feel like you guys are piling up money, you're saving it up, and you're going to have an option to, like, do something here. And this is walking away here. Some of you are walking away from certain habits and situations. I'm sorry, I'm looking like that. Um... I had a visitor and it's like I thought they were coming back and I'm you know this is walking away okay and um certain habits you're walking away from and certain oh my god just a second okay guys I'm sorry about that with this car I know I have my um door open there my slide door open this is thinking woman here someone I feel like you want to talk to someone it's someone in particular you want to talk to them about something but you're not it's not coming off as you know but you want to talk to someone about something here it looks like a older sister or aunt or something it's like you need to know something you want to talk about what's going on because you want to i feel like this is dealing with family it's like um something's going on i don't know if there's an illness or um something's 
I don't know, something's going on and you want to know what's going on so you can get yourself prepared for something or do they need help or something? Like, do you guys need help? And they're like, no, we'll probably get back with you. And you're almost saying, oh my God. Because when they get back with you, you don't know what it is. You want to hear what's going on here. Get back with me. Yeah, that sounds nice, but I want to know what. Because you want to, you, you like being prepared for stuff. You don't like, um, you don't like things that are just up and, oh my God, to where you're point like, oh my God, what happened here, okay? Just a second. Okay, this is um strategy here. Yeah, a lot of you, like I said, you like planning things. You like to know what's going to happen here. You don't like this all of a sudden up and about like, oh my God, you have to do this here. You don't like stuff like that. You don't like those surprises here. Um, you get kind of, I don't, I'm not going to say you get nervous, but it's like you don't know. It's like some kind of way. It's like... Um, I don't know how to say it, but it's like you just don't like those surprises here, especially with it's dealing with family situations in case they need you for something. You want to know in, in, in proper manner, like, what's what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen with me with this? And when someone says, I'll get back to you, it's like, okay. This is some appreciation. I don't know. It could be you. This is some appreciation here. You having some appreciation about you? Actually, you seem like you want to give yourself a pat on the back here. Like I did this. It's like you almost want to say I did this here. Okay. So whatever you're transforming into do, or you haven't started it yet, you're gonna really like this here. You know. And I don't. I just don't feel like I don't care if you have a mate or not. I don't feel like you're gonna share this with anyone. You're not hiding anything. You just want to keep stuff leveled and your money and stuff and everything together in case I want to go on a trip. I put this here. You like keep it to yourself here you don't want anyone spoiling something that you feel like you appreciate it um to get you know that you're deserving of okay this is man holding coin here okay this is like i said we were just talking about money here this is you dealing with your money it could be a this could be a virgo man or this could be a virgo woman who's going to meet a man like this or your man is like this here they're saving up money you guys are doing this together here because the summer's coming up and some people like, you know, going out and doing things more when it's warm. Or some people like doing things out in the cold, you know. But, um, yeah. Okay, this, look at this. And this came reverse here. That means that you guys are, look at this, man on the coin and this came reverse. That means that you guys are too much not worrying about money. But you're not going to deal with someone who's going to ask you for money. You don't want to deal with people like that. You're going to look at them like, you need money. And you think it to yourself, I saved this money. You need money? It's like, you, you're like, no. This, I mean, you know, this is the seat here. This is you getting back on track. Some of you were off key for a while because, like I said, something was going on probably with the family or something. Something was going on. I feel it. And you had a downtime a little bit. Now you pick yourself back up very fast because you knew already what you wanted to do here. And this is an addition here. Like I said, you mastered out. You made these things happen that's going on for you here. Okay, this is Angel of Love. Like I said, you guys are still open to a relationship here. If one comes to you, it's like you guys are waiting for something to come to you. I'm not saying you're sitting there and it's going to knock on a door, but you're like, and like, well, if it comes to me, I'm just going to deal with it. You know, if you like it here. Because you're feeling, it's like you're getting back to yourself again here because you were dealing with a lot. Now you know when to cut things off and deal with yourself here. Now, we were just talking about love here. This is man holding heart. Remember, I had woman holding heart. This is man holding heart here. This is uh, this could be a Virgo man, or this could be a um, Virgo woman who's going to meet a guy like this here. I feel like some of you are going to start wanting to date or wanting to meet someone here, but you want something stable. But I feel like you don't want to tell the person for some reason because you want to check them out first. You want to make sure they're not dealing with your stuff if you know what I mean like they're coming with the I don't mean to say this because some people do come with a package here you just don't want that oh what is that oh you how many you know who is that oh my god um and you're like I don't know if this is gonna work it's like you thought this person was just them and they were talking about this and all of a sudden they're bringing this whole entourage of things here not kids but just I, it could be bills it could be anything or some kind of um they haven't healed from something and you're like oh my god what did i get myself into and it's like you're saying that to yourself here this is broken heart here some of you like i said are dealing with um uh 
I feel like it's someone in your family and you're thinking about them or something, making sure they're okay. And it's like you still want to know what do you want to, what do you have to do with this here? They're not telling you. And this is um, caring and connections here. This is dealing, some of you are dealing with friends um, you haven't spoke to in a while. You're probably um, close to a coworker or someone you're talking to here. You're just converting with this person. You feel very close to them. And it's making you, they, you guys are probably talking about relationships and things like that and stuff like that. It's someone you just talk to and they just, they know when to cut the conversation and go back to their business here. They're not going to call you again and text you again and tell you this and then it turns into gossip and someone else strung along in the relationship, I mean, in the relationship, in the conversation. There's someone you're dealing with here because you don't want to feel like this. You don't want to get in the middle of anything because you know that you're going to strike if you do. It's like you're going to say, hey, I'm not in this here. Nope, don't put me in this here. And um, if they don't like it, you just don't talk to them or whatever. You just, you closed out. And you didn't close out selfishly, but you closed out because you're taking care of your business here. Okay, so... You know, it's okay for that. And that's why you got the blessings and abundance card here, okay? And you got your second chakra. They're still in your intimacy, your intimacy card here. It's like you're thinking about, like, what happened to it, almost. It's like you're saying what happened to it. Like, what's going on? What's going on with my life here? What's going on here? Not your life, just your intimacy, that part. That's what I'm talking about, your intimate part it's like it's almost like you're like like an echo what's going on for some of you because you've been busy you probably haven't thought about it and then when people sit down they start thinking about stuff and that's what you did here and you're trying to figure out should i even go into that or should i even do that or should i be thinking about that because you're healing from something you probably don't realize it because if you're in transit and transformation here then you are you are healing from something you are healing from something if you think about it Okay. All right. So let's see, Virgo, if you have any other cards here. Okay. This is your fifth chakra here. This is you speaking out about something here. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be dealing with family. And it's like you want to know where you stand in a situation, what's going on. You want to know something and someone's not telling you. I feel like they're not telling you because they feel like you don't have to do anything. They have it all together. But in case we need you, you don't like that. Some girls don't like that. I want to know what's going on. Okay. And it's like you don't like shocking surprises when it's dealing with like family or debts or illnesses or money problems, someone needs some help. You like surprises, probably like a birthday, but not something like that, you know. Or they might need your money, or they might need your time for an ill person, or something like that, because you probably have plans, and you're doing something here, and you're like, okay, this is for some of you. This is a temple path here. A lot of you are not connected to your spiritual side, your guardian angels, and things like that. You might talk about God or something like that, but you're not connected to it here. And some of your um, rules, I'm not going to say rules, some of your stuff is coming from things not being guided spiritually. And that's why there's a rough and tumble and you're working overtime and making the money. You want things to be a little bit more lenient. But some of the things that you're not listening to, okay, sorry about that. This is attachments here. Some of you are still attached to certain habits you're trying to break. It's like you have, it's like you'll do one of them and you're like, whatever. And it's like, oh my God, what? It's like you're thinking about it. It's like, how can I put this? Say, for instance, if I was busy all day at work and I said I wasn't going to eat chocolate anymore. And I'm busy at work all day and I'm done and then I go to a um, donut place and I see this chocolate. And I'm like, give me that donut, the chocolate donut. And I'm eating it and I'm like, I wasn't supposed to do this, whatever, it's too late. And I just eat it. I feel like some of you have done, <laughs> have done, done that. One of the habits. I got stuff there. One of the habits there. You feel like you deserve it. I got it. It's too late. I can burn it off, whatever. I don't know. This is lacking something. Some of you are lacking some communication with someone. It's like you want to talk. Something is not voicing out about something here. And it's like something is recurring in your life. It's like something... It's some kind of thing you get into 
and it's like you're afraid to say well you're afraid to lift that voice up and say something sorry just a second yeah it's like you're not saying well wait a minute you guys keep you don't want to do that because you think someone's going to strike at you and you don't want to get those surprises like that. I don't mean to laugh you don't want to get those surprises like that I just said that look and look what came out yeah you don't want to you don't want to get into any hostility here so you're not going to see anything you're gonna say, okay I'll wait and it's like you're probably going to no offense forgive me for saying this some of you are going to dodge this thing because if they need your help and you're dealing with something serious you want to know what it is so you can be prepared for it and it's almost like they're telling you well I'll tell you later you can go by and it's like no, you're going to tell me now. It's like you want to say that, but you don't want to deal with the negative. And, you know. That's why I said you need some angel balance here. Something could swoop in there and, and help you with something here. You know what I'm saying? And this is commitments here. This is making commitments with yourself, but you don't want to get sidetracked with whatever is coming your way. Because a lot of us are always on the straight and narrow and we're going that way, but then something comes in... And you have to do this. You have to help me with this. You have to do this here. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait, I was just doing, it's like you want to say, I was just doing something, but you never said anything. So it's, I'm not saying go out and start hurting people, but it's okay to let people know where you stand, what you're doing with your life. You don't have time for this. You're doing this here. It doesn't have to be in a smart way or I'm in my zone. I'm feeling good about myself. You can put it another way. Because I feel like someone's going to need your help with something. But it's going to happen when you're probably doing something or have a trip or want to go somewhere. That's why you want to know, like, straight forward, like, what do I have to do? Tell me. And they're like, no. So, Virgo, I'm getting to feel like a lot of you are getting yourself together. You like what's going on with yourself. But it, it's something still stuck there. I don't know if it's some family situation. You still feel it. It's like you, you you feel for things. It's like you're together, but you feel for things to see. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is okay. Are they okay? Good. It's like you want to do that here. So, Virgos, it's okay to say no to certain things here. Especially when you, it's coming down to yourself. So, think about that. You're not hurting anyone. Everyone's so sensitive today and everything. Especially when it comes down to their stop. Your stop, boom. I don't care, you know. But just think about that okay hope you guys enjoyed the read i'll see you guys soon you guys bless you and thanks for watching too i'll see you guys soon okay because i have some other cards coming in but um virgos when you're in your transition make sure you're okay first okay but if someone's going to come in with something they want you to deal with here then you got to speak up about it okay don't be afraid all right you guys take care i'll see you guys soon bye